Hi everyone, uh, I'm Shweta here and uh, I have Aparna with me, Aparna Zadha, uh, who is a best-selling author and she also works with an MNC from more than 15 years. Uh, she joined my community a few months back and she applied the most trusted author model and published her first book, right, Aparna? First book? Yes, my first book. Yes, her yes. first book doing amazingly well. So I'm just going to share my screen with all of you. This is Aparna's book. Go ahead, grab a copy. Paradise Sucked, Thrive After Divorce, Ladies. This is by Aparna Zadav. And uh, congratulations. And I'm so proud of you, Aparna. Thank that you. I get to talk to you. And uh, we do this conversation around your book, around your author journey. So congratulations once again and welcome. Welcome to Thank this, you. this session. Thank you, Shweta. Thanks a ton. It's, uh, uh, you know, I, I always tell it's, it's thanks to you, honestly, that I have, uh, you know, been able to come, fulfill my dream because uh, writing was a dream. I This is something I really, really, it was very close to my heart, this, you know, this, this particular topic, especially because when you I've been through something very, uh, I mean, on those lines. So, so close to me, I want to share, just didn't know how to do it. And thanks to you, I was able to fulfill that uh, your purpose little, like a thing of my life so thanks a ton congratulations once again okay tell us more about you Aparna what do you do so I did go, did give a little bit about <laughs> you but yeah let's hear it out for everyone what do you do so I uh, work wise I work for an MNC uh, in Bombay I live in Bombay with my mom and my daughter I'm a single mom uh, and uh, uh, I, uh, for hobbies wise, of course, I love reading books. Uh, that That's like, you know, everything that I can think of. I love books, love drama. I love, uh, uh, I love live shows. I love comedy, stand-up comedies. I like things like that. Um, I love dogs. I love horses. Horses are my favorite, <laughs> absolute favorite. And uh, yeah, that, that's what most of the time I'm at home with my daughter. They, uh, my daughter is 13, so <laughs> keeps me busy. So, so the, you know, apart from work, and I see that you love this, you love this, you yeah. love reading books, are you working? And yeah. then suddenly yeah. you thought of writing a book. How do, how did that happen? So uh, I had uh, this, uh, you know, I been through a very painful journey. The 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 uh, book uh, it talks about divorce and what a lady goes through. Uh, after after she takes that decision where she her decision is not accepted divorce is still a taboo in india right so uh, we cannot talk openly about divorce even if we talk we are shunned by the society we are shunned by our relatives so that that entire journey is something i went through and it was uh, something i wanted to share so that other women benefit from it uh, that was my sole intent of writing the book or that was why i even thought of writing it, so that someone benefits from what i have been through and uh, i guess the rest is just time management <laughs> that's what i can say because uh, i work in night shift uh, that's a conscious decision i took because uh, you know otherwise i thought i would never be with my daughter being a single parent especially uh, i feel you know when i have to fulfill the role of mother father both i need to be around her i can't uh, be out working the day so that's a conscious decision i took where, whereby i uh, sleep i walk when she's sleeping i'm awake when she's awake so that's how i actually and then it is just time management and thanks to you I, it just you know your helpful tips how to do everything you know how you've laid it out step by step by step i just followed it blindly <laughs> And that's it's out. You you sound to be like you know a magician or a super mom. <laughs> you are much for. I mean, when time hold morning, me you are with your kid and you're handling yeah. well your home yeah. and uh, you know <laughs> personal life. And when she's asleep, that time you're working. And in yeah. between, you squeeze time for yeah. your for a book also. So yeah. uh, you know, great great achievement. Thank I would you. say. And yeah. people who are watching this video. Uh, I don't know what excuse you have for not writing that book. Uh, you should take some inspiration from Aparna. Yeah, she was able to do it. Right, yeah. Aparna? I'm telling you, it's only about time management. If you tell yourself you don't have time, you'll never have time to do anything for yourself. That, that's what I believe you. I mean, you know, even I, I keep saying this, you have just one life, one life to live in 
and if you don't give it your best then what is the point i mean why, why are you even living you might as well just you know push yourself a bit harder and fulfill your dreams and then what you feel is a different feeling altogether so uh, that, that's my that's what i live by i just feel that i live i have one life to live and i better give it my all <laughs> that then i guess that because that na after that you have that kind of a thought या एक लाइफ है एक लाइफ में बुक भी लिखनी है राइट एंड नॉट जस्ट एग्जैक्टली दैट सक्सेसफुल and you're able to take that leap without much of resistance you would want to take the next step and the next step and the next step right aparna and now with that success of totally. one book you want more and you want of more of course of course totally agree sir that totally agree so how was your journey uh, this writing journey and publishing uh, journey on a personal level it was extremely painful because it was writing about my life uh, my uh, and uh, you know uh, you uh, while i wanted it out there uh, to keep a balance of uh, uh, what i want to share to what extent and what i don't want to share but when you are writing especially i mean you would know that when you write you are totally into that emotion right that, that, that into that pain that uh, trauma that uh, you know everything that you uh, suffered not just me so along with me my daughter to suffered so that entire pain i had to revisit that entire span of my life in a very short condensed manner uh, so on a personal level it was too painful but i felt that i probably needed that pain to get rid of it like it was nikal gaya sab ha Uh, it's all out. Like, yeah, it's like out there, and now, now it doesn't bother me to the extent because sometimes even if you feel that yes, you have dealt with the pain, you have it till the time it's like out in the you know in the universe like a thing. That's what I has happened after the book. Uh, writing the book, thanks to you, was thousand times easier than what I ever thought of. Honestly, I think I had uh, your guidance. Uh, the way you have literally uh, you know broken everything down to pieces and explained every single thing was uh, and at a level where uh, so easy for anyone to uh, follow and understand made it very easy for me which i did not expect i i did not expect it to be that easy so writing was not that but the the thing i went through was huge was really huge so i i totally get it it must be difficult because you've been through a lot yeah. but uh, i think probably you've also healed while riding yeah. agree totally agree it was uh, extremely cathartic to me extremely extremely uh, what to say just eased my pain out that's all i can say in a way it was a blessing as it was a blessing because uh, getting rid of that pain i never thought there's so much in your subconscious that you don't know that you ha- even have it it's at that time when i uh, when i started writing i remember there were things i had completely forgotten and those things started coming to me which was like where did this come from i had completely forgotten but mm-hmm. all those things started coming to me which was surprising and i guess oh, i feel much better i much i feel free actually i feel emotionally free now after the one my book out because i've done my say i have had my say i i i just rest rest my case kind of thing <laughs> So, so did you hold your book in your hand do you have the copy i do you do oh my god okay okay great looks amazing okay the cover looks amazing thank so how did you feel when you held that book for the first time did you cry By yes book? i did <laughs> i was screaming me and my daughter both of us were like screaming and shouting when we saw the book because uh, i was like oh my god it's finally here this finally wow. and i was trembling that actually i was trembling a bit because i i was it was like oh really i can this is a dream i i don't know that's all i can tell you this i didn't think even in my wildest dream that uh, i started your course i remember on the 25th of august okay from august 
to uh, I launched my book in January on January 15. It was supposed to launch on December 30th, but uh, because of COVID, I had to postpone it. So January 15th, if I take January 15th, it's a span of oh, not even six months. <laughs> I have a book ready and it's out and I've published to you. I mean, that's nothing sort of a miracle, right? I mean, for me, for me, it's just a miracle. So, <laughs> so, yeah. so uh, did you feel like when you were reading, I have been so much, you know, been through so much. Did you feel that? I did. First time when I read first time, so the first uh, uh, edited thing, but uh, you know, the first copy, which you just remove a printout, off and I was going through to see if there are any small small issues and I couldn't find issues because I was just reading as I'm reading a novel and I was like ha huh, did I do that huh, did I do that <laughs> Really? Oh, I was explained quite well here. I was actually going like that. But I remember I was I was supposed to my shift was supposed to start at uh, uh 1 30 at night. Okay. I know if it's a 1.30 shift, I normally sleep at around 7, 6.37 so that I can fresh for my shift. All right. I didn't sleep. I just wouldn't sleep. I was reading, reading, reading. And finally, I saw the clock. I was like, oh, it's 12.30. <laughs> I better start. At least one hour, I need to sleep. That's how I did. I, mean, that's, that's, I, I honestly couldn't believe that it's, it's me who's written that. Wow, I can I can totally understand that feeling. Even like after doing eleven books, yeah, for oh my, my next book, I still can't believe. Okay, I have written this book. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like you know, someone gave us those energy, yeah. that creative flow that happened. Yeah, and thank you, this you said it so perfect because um. Honestly, when I was writing, I mean, this is something I thought I'd never share with anyone. I of course told my daughter about it and a few of my, you know, extremely close people. But I'm telling this out open today that I used to feel someone actually coming and telling me my ears. <laughs> and I'm like, what the heck is happening? <laughs> But you know, is that is that compulsion that I have to finish writing? I have to finish. It, it, it is just write, 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 write. And then I used to be like, okay, kya likha? I. After that, I was thinking, oh my God, this is what yeah. I wrote. So it was, I, I, do, I mean, I'm asking you, do you also feel that way? Do you yeah, get so that kind of? This, uh, yeah, this is called the creative zone, a uh, creative uh, flow, where okay. uh, each of the author who's in that zone uh, feels that. And okay. probably you will, you're not able to sleep. You're not able yes. to do anything till you yes. do that stuff. Correct. I'm telling you, I used to get up. I was like, at one point, I remember because I had night shifts, as I told you. I was exhausted and I'm telling myself, I'm not getting sleep. Mom, I'm not getting sleep. I sleep for it's like someone is wanting me and I want to like get up and write. I get up and write and I don't know what is happening. And because for me, see, I am not, um, uh, as a person, I am not a very uh, artist. I never saw myself, rather, let, let's put it that way. I never saw myself as a very creative or artistic person. I have, I have always seen myself as a hardcore practical person who just does what is required and what is that. That's how my life has been. Uh, however, this was like my first, uh, you know, uh, 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 like first uh, no, what is the situation where I was actually into that creative mode and for me it was like oh my god this is how people feel no wonder you know creative people are called vacos <laughs> like, that is how they feel all the time <laughs> then uh, I can totally understand why they feel that way now now I understand I couldn't understand for so many years <laughs> but after one book thanks to you it, it's like okay I've understood now I understand what they go through <laughs> <laughs> so amazing so you know that is the reason you remember why i said those things on day two of the five day workshop no editing huh. no searching while you are writing yeah because you are in that yeah. and it helps a lot it helps a lot Shreta. it helps a lot i'm telling you because uh that time you can't think only about editing you just can't you just it's so in that zone to write you have to write you if you, it's not out you feel like something is going to happen to you <laughs> i better write 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 that's i think that's what i felt so okay that's that's so so nice to hear you know similar <laughs> similar experience yeah so, so tell me your favorite chapter from this book paradise sucked your favorite chapter which everyone should read it See, there's a chapter on self-love, okay, on self-love. It's about how this character who uh, has uh, right now 
become zero in her life she has no one she can look for like there are people for her but in her mind she's alone in her mind she is literally because according to her no one understands her no one is in her shoes they are all in their own zone and they are amazingly well in life and she is someone who is just not fit enough for anything not good enough for and that's that's the situation she's in like at a zero level on her like uh, in her life so i'll just uh, read the quote okay that will just sure, summarize sure. it for you one minute so it's it's a jk rowling uh, quote and so rock bottom became the solid foundation on which i rebuilt my life so it's it's that it's that you know that rock bottom that she hit yeah. after that uh, how she comes up uh, that's a chapter named self love how she starts learning how to uh, come out of that pain how she gives up you know and becomes uh, normal like she starts smiling again which wasn't happening like she before that she was just walking like a zombie everywhere now she starts like a gaining sense of her life and she has smiling so that one chapter uh, was uh, i think every, everyone should read it just read it i mean don't think you are going through uh, divorce even if you are not going you just read it for just to know what how she learns self love that is i think is my wow. so what chapter it is chapter 7 chapter 6 5 what what it chapter is it is a... <laughs> what did it yeah i'll tell you exactly it is a... it's no no it is the chapter uh, one minute here it is the chapter 7 chapter 7 chapter. people no down chapter 7 from self love paradise sucked by yeah. apna zada yeah, but don't just jump to chapter 7 yeah 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 <laughs> no her entire journey why she yes. hit that rock bottom first so, so yeah. it's it's not just about then people who are going through a divorce or divorce right what is your book about you know it's you about would... women empowerment it's about uh, simple about women empowerment because i personally on a personal note see it is though it is uh, telling you the journey of what a lady going through divorce goes through uh and how she can come out of it so i have also mentioned tips and helpful things and all but i first i on a very personal i feel that uh, any lady any lady even if you are like a, uh, you know just uh, 18 years old you are a fresh graduate or you you are very happily married even if you are happily married you just read the book to understand how much uh, empowering yourself matters how much uh, because of uh, a uh, life is unpredictable even if you're not going through even if say i i hope and pray you everyone has the best in life you know really happy but even then even then how important it is to be fulfilled in yourself to be complete in yourself and i think that is something every uh, every person should look into because uh, yes you have a family yes you have have a full your happily my dear so have a family you have everything but at some point your children are going to grow up at some point you know you are going to be alone at some point and then when you look back you shouldn't feel that you've not lived your life right i mean i personally feel as i said again you have just one life to lead and if you are not giving yourself your best what is the point Why, what are you doing anything for so i feel that the book is for anyone and for men too because uh, see you know uh, people say that men uh, you know they kind of uh, 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 trouble women or they, they are injustice to women but i don't know if i completely believe with that i'm not saying there are no harmful men but there are harmful women too but men have this tendency of being overprotective that's my that's been my uh, experience with most of the men okay most of the men in my family like my talk about my dad or my cousins or my even friends to very they will uh, they are very overprotective they like will take care of you they will uh, you know hand, uh, uh, handle things for you finances are handled by them which is looked at as a bad way but it, in a way they are they have been given that role from centuries that they take care of that so i feel they protect you so much that you they don't empower you everything is taken care of by them everything is done by them which can is generally looked as bad but we are being sheltered to by them right mm. we are being taken care by them too right thanks to whatever they are doing it it yeah. goes against us but the the intent on that uh, behind that is not to uh, cut you off from anything it's, it's probably if a father like my dad was didn't um, was very possessive my i lost my father in 2019 very very protective uh, and he was pop so he used to be extra protective and he would uh, 
a lot of things he would protect me from which later on i had to face when i was alone Hmm. which there it was very difficult for me to deal with so hmm. i feel every man should read it simply to understand how important it is if that he needs to empower his wife his sister his daughter some to some extent even his mother because his mother also deserves to live a fulfilled life so hmm. so i feel everyone should read it it's oh. though the 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 theme is divorce but i think it's a general read and it's enough of a novel so if think about it as novel and pick it up and read it might it will help 100% it will help amazing amazing <laughs> so uh, request everyone go ahead grab a copy the link will be posted soon and if you have any questions go ahead post it and we'll take uh, like two questions for aparna or me <laughs> <laughs> uh, so uh, while we get questions uh, aparna did you how did you publish did you self publish it or how do you do it I self-published it uh, according to how you have uh, guided us to do. And, uh, it was a very. It was. Uh, I I realized I was uh, so. Uh, I don't know if I should say it, but I was approached by a lot of vanity publishers for that. And oh God, I simple simple things they were asking me to pay, and I was like, hello, why am I doing? <laughs> why why am I doing it? Why am I even? I'm not stupid. <laughs> something like i'm this. happy that you didn't fall into that thing. oh i would it and, and i would have had i not have you had your guidance i probably really would have fallen into some that kind of trap but i did not so it was uh, very easy I, you have like literally made it super easy for us, for us to you know take care of every single thing <laughs> great thank you So, yeah i literally go to uh, okay i have this problem like uh, i when i was applying just two days back i was applying for copyright i literally went to the copyright like okay this is what is to be done finish 10 minutes it was done and i was like okay so that that absolutely very, so you don't really have to go to a lawyer pay 5000 7000 rupees to get one copyright done yeah exactly that is it's, it's like everything so very easily and very so well explained i don't have words actually don't have words <laughs> so see uh, the reason why i've been doing this is when i started there was no one to guide me oh. i did spend a lot uh, fell Imagine. into some trap and then i realized that this is the need every author needs so that they can spend where you know when yes the book. yes that, that's what i started doing that's what uh-huh. i do that's what i do i i uh, in marketing i have been allocating but, but not in the uh, Thing to do with publicity, nothing with all that I did on my own self. Publishing till up till like the Amazon Kindle, everything is done by me, including the paper, including the formatting of the book. Everything, everything is wow done by me. Yeah. So, any particular incident that that you remember while writing or publishing that happened with you? Anything that you remember? One particular thing that has actually uh, made this entire process. Uh, more happening for you or there was a story in it anything that you want to share uh see thing in particular but uh, for me uh, because the entire journey itself was so new shweta for every, so i was learning everything uh, right from the scratch <laughs> especially because uh, uh, as i said i was i'm not a very creative i don't look i didn't look at myself as a very creative person or someone who writes or something nothing like that so for mm. me i'm like literally starting there are people who at least have blogs right writers who at least have blogs i didn't have any of that so from that point to uh, write a book to edit a book to uh, uh, format a book Uh, to design the cover, format the uh, inner layout. Uh, you know, you've also ta- uh, shown how to uh, set up my website. How to every single thing was a new thing for me. Every single thing was like a new. And during that, uh, whatever, uh, uh, of course, things up and down. You know, sometimes it it was a learning curve for me. But today, I feel I can do it ten times easier and ten times faster. Because of that learning, curve, but I feel that that journey was so amazing. I can't really point out that one thing because every bit today I'm telling you, I don't. I probably will be very happy holding other books that I launch, but this book will, uh, on a personal note as well as on uh, uh, the way I learned how you know the the how I went through the process. For that, also, it's going to be a very 
very special book for me even for that entire process because now i get possibly much easier than what i went through the first time with the first time every bit of it was done so it just feels very you know how you a lady cooks yeah every ah. single uh, and especially if she's done the farming so then it's all the more like imagine <laughs> she's like literally planted the seed and she's literally it's her everything is hers then it that happiness is completely different right then yeah then giving it out to someone else so i feel that way for this book like, like every single thing is me so, Yeah, a bit of advice for anyone a bit of advice for first time authors yeah don't go to a vanity publisher <laughs> <laughs> see if you go and meet her <laughs> she is the one go and meet her i mean at least uh, yeah i think they should at least have us one session with you to understand what how it feels i i think that's very very important because uh uh see that there are lots of people and there are lots of ways you can find information okay today google being there everything is available but there is nothing which is so uh, nicely put so uh, uh, i mean so easily done for us to follow it's so simply put by you every single video of yours is such a good di- direction towards of uh, how anything should be done the pitfalls how you explain the pitfalls how you explain okay don't do this do this this is how you do it and and it it doesn't stop only at the publishing i think you have given us inputs about everything right from writing to the end so uh, that entire journey you made it uh, i i i think you uh, you are an engineer right Yeah. yeah 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 so you know that that you know how a, uh, uh, so they are generally methodical right one step next step next step so that is seen that is so clearly seen with so because that gives a structure and that structure is so important uh, i just follow the structure uh, you know blindly and uh, i before i realized i had it in my hand so i think uh, just do the thing do it from your heart and just do everything yourself and what you will feel is completely different so that, that, that's all just uh, wow and i would say i would tell people great advice don't go to vanity publishers okay <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> you know they asked me they told me that the price for isbn is 2000 bucks 2000 bucks and i was like for oh, what am i paying excuse me <laughs> i i am like, No, I'm not telling you. Bye, bye. People watching this video, you know how much you know, how much you have to pay to get an ISBN. Aparna is going to tell you. Aparna, tell them <laughs> how much you have to pay to get an ISBN. <laughs> nothing, nothing. It's okay, me. you have to pay two exactly. double zeros. Okay, no, nothing. You you get it for nothing. Free. I'm telling you so, and and they quoted it saying, "Uh, ma'am, if you go in for uh, our our uh, product, our our entire package, we'll give you ISBN three." And I was telling my, I was telling myself, "I anyways have ISBN three. Thank you. I don't need it." <laughs> you you understand what I'm saying, right? So, how much they try to make it easier for you? Probably it'll get easier with them, but it. I know for sure it won't give you that satisfaction. How it. it feels it is for the satisfaction do you do it yourself and see once how it feels then i mean whatever <laughs> and plus uh, whatever money you save by yes. self publishing yes use it for advertising and making more sales for your book reaching more people impact more people correct that and that is very important because otherwise you'll end up i mean how's it goal assuming a person is i mean 2000 when if i take isbn okay that 2000 which uh, because of uh, because of your advice i have saved i had i could use it somewhere else right i could use it for uh, some something else which is important to me which is important for my book for the promotions of it so uh, all that help and all that advice uh, i think uh, i have literally spent uh, zero from my honestly yeah i have not spent anything on my my journey to my uh, uh, uh till my book is out just on the book i'm talking okay i'm just talking about the book uh, whatever i have done is on promotions which is huge right which is absolutely huge there's nothing which i have paid not for isbn nothing for nothing so that is huge that is huge savings before which people will charge you a bomb 
I mean, just for that much, there are like packages like what, 35,000, 40,000 for what? I mean, what are we paying that kind of money for? Which true, is true, true. all wastage, I feel. <laughs> and that hard earned money. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Aparna, for sharing your journey and uh, about your book, which is a very powerful book. I would say, go ahead, grab it. And if you are looking to write, uh, go ahead, join my five-day workshop. The link would be here. And with that, uh, we haven't got any questions. Let me just quickly check. Okay. Any questions here? Okay. So people are appreciating you. Shashikala is saying, agree 100% upon Shweta's videos interaction. Shows her engineering precision and methodical approach. Mohit is saying, it's so good to see you. And Krishna is saying, congratulations. And yeah. Mohit is saying, thank you for letting us know about this fraud. Thank you people for joining in for this uh, live session. And thank you once again, Aparna, and congratulations you. on your achievement. And I wish thank you more you. success. And, thank you. And I'll take your questions after you're done with this. Thank yeah. you, people. Thank you. And watch out for more videos. <laughs> Go ahead, subscribe, like, share. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you.